Well, my tomato plants have survived and beans are not coming up yet. The ground's plenty wet from all this rain we've had in the last day or two. It don't look like they washed away though. I'm just praying my beans will come up. Well, I looked under the mower out there to see how much the trouble it's going to be to take the deck off. I went out and checked my tomato plants. And then I got off on this little tangent. I haven't got a whole lot done today, but I'm going through toolboxes. I'm sick and tired of looking through for sockets or wrenches. So right now I'm just sorting everything. Screwdrivers in one box, a ton of wrenches in the other box. Then I'll organize them back into a set. I'm going to find all my sockets that I can and get them gathered back up. Still got two or three toolboxes to go through and I'm running out of time. I don't think there's much in this one. Well, yeah, there is. There's a ton of dang sockets in there. It is hard to keep things organized if you, if you let it get disarrayed. I've got more toolboxes around here with more tools in it. So we're doing just a little bit of organizing today. Look at that bad boy. We can turn some screws with that thing. That belongs over there. Do, 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 do. Some of the, I got some craftsman sockets mixed in with some Japanese Chinese sockets snap-on I got some snap-on in here and some I don't know what other brands is here pliers are designed for some kind of lock ring that'll go in the plier box Thorson, that's not a bad tool. Fuller, a couple of railroad tools there. I got a whole box of sockets somewhere in there. Gotta go find them. Anyway, I'm getting my hands greasy. Sorting tools, picking up nuts and bolts. Chisels, let's put them with the screwdrivers. A great big old cold chisel there. Keep jumping from one box to the next. I don't remember where that darn thing even come from. It's definitely homemade. Screwdriver for something. This old wooden thing's seen a lot of miles. It'd still be used for a punch or something. It'll take a whole day just to organize my sockets once I get them rounded up. Clean up some of these old tool boxes and then when I get ready to work on something like that lawnmower yesterday, I want to have to just hunt and hunt and hunt. What kind of wrench is this? Craftsman. 
one half inch. Eleven sixteenths mechanics, popular mechanics. Where'd that come from? They need some WD-40. Pliers, more pliers. Oh, I know what this is. For changing the spigots in the, t the bathtub upstairs. You have a special socket to reach up in the wall and screw the spigot out. Gotta remember what I did with that because I'll need it pretty soon. Well, I don't know it's in one of these boxes. It's in with the screwdrivers right now. Half inch drive ratchet. Thorson. Lance deep well. Strippers, uh, wires, strippers. That's the second pair I found out here. What I do with the other one? Oh well. Anyway, I'm busy as a bee, getting, doing very little or nothing, except sorting things. Look at this old wooden handle screwdriver. That's an antique. I can't ever find a screwdriver when I need it. They buried up in a box some darn where. I might even get a full set of half inch sockets out of this deal. I wonder what that little camshaft came out of. It's a humdinger, whatever it is. See, that's what hoarders do. You save things like that. That's some good tool steel. I could make something out of it in about a hundred years. Great big pair of channel locks. Craftsman. Can't read that one. Borrow all that goes in the trash. <laughs> I bet I ain't the only one that's got tools scattered in the garage, in the basement, in the truck. I know there's some out there in the truck. I think I got a toolbox out in the boat, too. No wonder I can't find, ever find nothing. It'll take me a week to sort through these sockets. But this is a little chore I've been putting off and putting off as long as I can. When you go through a toolbox, you always find a ton of nuts and bolts. Like when I needed a nut and a bolt that size, I didn't know where to look. Anyway, I appreciate y'all stopping by today. Well, that's an oddball bolt. <clears throat> Rusty old blade, that ain't no good. <clears throat> what is in there? A Chinese surprise. Little magnets. Ain't got a clue what they're for. Says Sears. Socket 
inserts. Put it in a socket, huh? Well, there's a new one on me. Something I done forgot all about. We'll keep that with the sockets. <laughs> oh, look at there, another drawer full of sockets. Some tin snips that are rusty as Moody's goose. A lot of these sockets are rusty too. They're the cheap ones, I'm sure. Can't even read the size on that. I need to take it to the wire brush. 3 8 inch drive swivel socket. I think I'll designate this whole big box when I get it cleaned out to sockets. Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> my spectacles on when I go to reading these sizes and brands. Craftsman. Five eighths. Craftsman deep well. Chinese brand. A three-eighths to a half-inch adapter. I'll never have no need for that. Sure, I'm getting my hands nasty. I better turn off this camera before I get it nasty. Y'all have a good day. It's people all part saying we'll catch you next time.